friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it is another grocery haul day. This week I was short on time so I just did Walmart grocery pickup but I have a couple of new food finds for you that I'm excited about. So if you cannot wait for another grocery haul give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed I would love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group are also down in that description box. So head on over and join us there as well. So let's jump into our grocery haul. So here is this week's grocery haul. I did Walmart grocery pickup. Due to schedule, I just wasn't able to go in store. So I did grocery pickup. However, they were out of quite a few items. So I'm going to have to stop at another grocery store for those items. But let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So first I picked up a box of cornflakes. I actually need cornflakes for a dinner recipe and then whatever's left over we can just have on hand for cereal. A large can of 100% pineapple juice. This is for meal prep for my dessert. I can't wait to share my meal prep with you guys so i needed pineapple juice for that i also picked up three of the light and fit greek yogurt i actually ordered the caramel apple but they substituted with the tiramisu which is just fine i just needed a few more yogurts to make it through the week a pint of vanilla bean halo top i haven't bought halo top in a good man three or four years but i actually need this for meal prep so I picked that up. I've been craving bagels and cream cheese. I don't know why. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up at Walmart. So I grabbed the chive and onion cream cheese. This is one of my all time favorite cream cheeses. And one more Chobani flip. I liked having these last week. I had them as dessert because they are a little bit higher in points. Not bad in calories, but higher in points. So this is a new product. This actually popped up on, we recommend you buy this list. And this is the Yummy Spoonfuls Organics for Kids. This is the chicken sweet potato bites. These look really delicious. They have excellent ingredients. You can microwave them, throw them in the air fryer, in the oven. So I had to pick them up. I wanted to give them a try. For a sweet treat this week, I decided to pick up little mini no-bake cookies. I thought it was better to have a mini no-bake cookie than a big, huge, full-size no-bake cookie. Pack a very small, peeled, deveined tail off shrimp. This is for a dinner recipe. A bag of turkey meatballs. This is also for a dinner recipe. Sometimes I like to buy these pre-cooked meatballs. It just makes it quick and easy for busy weeknights. A can of 98% fat-free cream of mushroom soup. I need this for a recipe. I ordered the Healthy Request cream of celery soup and they didn't have it so they substituted for the great value just regular full fat cream of celery. There isn't much difference so I went ahead and accepted the substitution. A can of cannellini beans. This is for a dinner recipe. They do not have a very good selection of organic beans at Walmart. That's one thing I wish they had a better selection of so I had to go ahead and pick up the non-organic. Also do do not carry organic whole tomatoes. They have crushed and diced and all the other tomatoes, but just not whole. So I just went ahead and grabbed the hunts. A can of organic whole kernel corn. This is for a dinner recipe. For Troy's lunches, I went ahead and picked up the Walker's Circus Animal Cookies. He's been asking for different snacks. I mentioned this in last week's grocery haul. And these I used to buy all the time for him. So I thought that I would bring these back into his lunchbox life. This week he went back with the whole Subway BMT vibe. So we're doing a mix of ham, pepperoni, and roast beef for his sandwiches. He only likes deli meat, so I generally will pick it up at the deli for him. A loaf of potato bread. This is for Troy's sandwiches for the week. A pack of sliced provolone cheese for a dinner recipe. Mar also did not carry any organic quick oats. They had regular organic rolled oats, but not quick oats, and I need the quick ones for a recipe. And I went ahead and picked up onion bagels to go with my onion cream cheese. These are the sweet onion bagels from Franz. These ones have the lowest calories, so I went ahead and snagged them. I'm really excited for bagels and cream cheese. I'm almost out of coffee creamer and Walmart had the cookies and cream from Chobani. Chobani's my favorite coffee creamer and I've never tried the cookies and cream. I really wanna try the flip edition but nowhere near me carries it unfortunately. But I couldn't wait to throw this in my 
cart online as soon as I saw that they have this flavor. And I know I'm early. I'm early with the peppermint mocha, but this is my favorite coffee creamer for the holidays. So I decided since it was out that I would go ahead and pick it up as well. This is just the full sugar. I do not buy the sugar-free peppermint mocha creamer any longer. The cracker cut cheese slices for Troy's meat cheese and crackers. A three pound bag of organic recipe potatoes. I need potatoes for a couple of recipes this week and they didn't have the biggest organic selection this time so I just went ahead and went with the russet. Everything else is produce. So I have a red onion, some green onions for a recipe and salads, lots of bell peppers because I'm making a Philly cheesesteak stuffed bell pepper. Cannot wait for that this next week. A big ginormous bag of organic lemons for my water, a pack of organic sliced mushrooms, and some pre-cut sticks of celery for snacking as well as for a couple of recipes. So not shown is a case of Coors Light, a case of Diet Coke, and a case of Coke Zero, but that is this week's grocery haul. So let's jump in to my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. I am so excited for this week's recipes. So here is this week's menu and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So this is the week of July 24th through the end of July. How crazy is that? So today, Saturday, we are going out for dinner. We are actually running a few errands together for the first time in months and months. So we're going to go enjoy a nice dinner out. And then Sunday, I'm making spaghetti and meatball skillet. You guys will see this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is hamburger potato casserole. This just sounds good and comfort food. Tuesdays are always a leftover day. Wednesday is a fried rice with shrimp and chicken. This is a house style fried rice, a complete meal. I'm super excited for that. And then Thursdays when I'm making those yummy Philly cheese stuffed peppers I mentioned. And Fridays always leftover so that we can finish up everything from earlier in the week. And before we jump into meal prep, this is currently happening. You guys are crazy. Palmer, Lola, are you guys having so much fun? And here is what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So breakfast, I'm doing a sticky cinnamon roll oatmeal. This sounds so good. Lunch is steak and gorgonzola flatbread. If I can find gorgonzola cheese, it seems to be quite elusive. So I'm going to see if I can find some when I'm out and about tomorrow. And then dessert is Dole Whip. I am making the famous Disneyland Tiki Dole Whip and I cannot wait. So stay tuned on Monday for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff I picked up for the week, my recipes, and stay tuned for Monday's meal prep and Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day to see some of these recipes recipes in action. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and you're not yet subscribed, we'd love to have you join our community. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out the description box again for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to all my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Head on over and join us there as well. Happy Saturday, friends. Happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's super fun video. Bye!